Okay, let's click here. Languages around the world are disappearing at an alarming rate. This is in British Columbia, so we'll hear a greeting now. But with the click of the mouse and with the help of Google Earth, more than 50 indigenous languages around the world are coming to life. With recorded audio clips of greetings, chants, and even a few traditional songs. One of the basic greetings that we use here in Hokamitnam is asking, how are you? Mandy Jones is among one of the seven Indigenous persons from Canada featured in the Google Earth project. My hope is that people see it and and want to learn more about the language in, in our territory. They'll hear the word Hulkamitnam and they'll say, hmm, that must be from Nanaimo. i got to find out more about this. Google Earth has the same objective, to raise awareness of languages and help preserve them too. Through the years, Jones worked hard to preserve her traditional language and today teaches the language to both Indigenous and non-Indigenous people on Vancouver Island. If we lose our language, we lose our culture. If we lose our culture, we lose our language. If you think of the residential school situation, people were punished for speaking their languages. They went back home. They were afraid to speak the languages. She says the fact that the Google Earth Project coincides with the UN International Year of Indigenous Languages is a cause for celebration. What it does is value the language. And it shows that it's something that's important to people. It shows the relationship of language with land, because they're talking about where they come from. Talking and celebrating a language that for many was taken from them so long ago. Cass Rusi, CBC News, Toronto.